What's going on, Van Fam? Ready for a live cooking show this Sunday evening? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, guys. Hope you guys have a beverage. I've got a sparkling water, babe. My ice water. Very nice. I don't go anywhere without it. That is true. Can't wait to see who we have in chat tonight. Babe, how you feeling? Good. Sleeping good. okay? I haven't really been sleeping very well. Dan says I was snoring, but I, well, can't, I take a sleeping pill every night now, and it doesn't really help, so sometimes I get up and take another. That's okay. We know the pregnancy's safe, according to our midwife. <laughs> Hopefully she's not lying. Um, no, I do hear you snore. So I must sleep. Yeah, I, I listen for the snore because then I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you're sleeping. So I guess just beforehand, I used to fall asleep within minutes of my head hitting the pillow and then wake up when I was ready. And I don't know. I don't do that there anymore. We well, babe, let's dive in and see who we've got in chat. Sounds good. Who do we have Shelly's here? Shelly's here. Hi, Shelly. Nice to see you. Babe, you, I want you to run the chat tonight. Guys, Allie's going to run the chat tonight because we are doing a cooking show. I'm going to be cooking. Allie's going to be running chat. Babe, big responsibility. Your thoughts on running chat? I think I'm going to manage. <laughs> um, and of course, David Strausser's here. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, these are not going to be vegan, but we will be going. Aren't you going to make something vegan next week? Um, we will make a vegan recipe next week on Sunday Night Cooking Live. You can put that. Maybe. You maybe. can put that in the bank. Maybe we'll use one of David's recipes. Hey, David, maybe you could share a recipe with us or something He's that. shared a lot. He's got a page. We'll oh, have a yeah. look around and see. We'll have what, a look. But any ideas, good. guys? Vegan recipe would be great. I would love if, to have if, something vegan. I mean, I'll make anything if it sounds like really good. And tonight we've got. Japanese goiza and egg drops, egg flour soup, egg drop soup. So that should be really good. And of course, Sherry's here. Sherry, Sherry. is also one of our Patreons. And um, Sherry. We're always in communicado with Sherry, aren't we? Yes. And we're still thinking of Sherry as she lost her pup last, one day last week. I'm sorry, I don't remember the exact day, but that's still got to be tough. And Kamita's here, of course, Kamita. Live from Florida, hello. Yeah, don't forget Nancy. to smash that like button. Hi, Nancy. Nice to see you here. Charlie Johnson. Hey, Charlie. How's it going? Uh, Nicole's here from the beginning, Nicole. so that's always nice. Thank you. And she smashed the like button already. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Oh, you. who's this? We know who this is. If you click this right here, adds it to the broadcast. Oh. Little trick. So we'll put those down here so they're not covering us. Um, I have a storm. Can you re remind me? Yeah. Is that Diana I, or is that? Um, I have the storm. Katero, please remind us of your name because we've been speaking I, about you recently. Um, and we were just curious what your name was. It's, She's it's, told either, us. it's one of two people. I think. Yeah, she's told anyway, us. I just can't remember. If it's Diana, I just wrote out your stickers. We're going to be sending out some stickers Busy. soon. We have a couple more, but not a ton. So if you haven't sent me your address yet, let me know. From last week, I didn't get them out yet, but I will. Um, Marla MacMichael. Oh, that's a fun last name. I've never heard it. MacMichael. Um, let me just throw that on the broadcast for us for a bit. Okay, let's jump back in. It's Diana. Diana. Nice yeah. job, Okay, babe. I thought so. I can't keep it all straight with all the different screen names, but I'm trying to. Dan Stark is here. And telling, are you telling us to come to Canada? We love Canada. And um, I don't think we'll get there in the next couple of months before baby arrives, but I'm sure we'll be there soon. Um... Want to tell them what we got up to yesterday? Yeah, I'd love to. We went on, Allie picked out a nice hike. Well, Allie gave me three options. So guys, we're in McCall right now, as you know. We went on a beautiful hike in the Payette Forest. 
and it was just spectacular with a nice lake at the end. And we got to go for a swim, and all three doggies got to yeah. come and be off leash the whole time, which is really nice. And I think there are bears in the area, but it's very uncommon, so we weren't afraid of that at all. So that was really nice. It was gorgeous. We, we can't forget about Mark B. Hi, Mark. How's it going? Mark B in the house. That, that's uh, that's quite the picture there. Look at that. That looks like a rooster a some rooster. sort. Oh, Mark, that's hilarious. Um, um, jinx, jinx, personal jinx. Sorry. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Thank you, Nicole. I wish I was getting a little more sleep, but I think I said this last week, the back pain has been so manageable that I can deal with not sleeping a little bit. Arkansas. Who's here from Arkansas? Laura. Oh, it's Laura. It's Laura. Hi, Laura. <laughs> she never misses a live, I've noticed, which no. I love about Laura. Or I'm not in my underwear tonight. It's it's um it's cooled a little bit. Excuse me. You know who we want to see in the chat tonight, guys. We hope Deva will make it to the chat because we got a gift from a Van Fam member who is usually in the live stream. So I I would be surprised if we don't see her tonight. And if we do, we want to open these live. These came in the mail this week. Oh, we do. That would be fun to open live. We were thinking about doing it on the vlog, but I just realized earlier when I saw him, like, hey, what a great what a great Aww. thing to do um, on the live here. tonight with you guys, along with cooking. Um, thoughts on the letter dirty, dirty Brian Laundry left? We thought it was a big load of crap. Oh, yeah. Total load of crap. Oh, I thought. if If he wrote it. I mean, he, maybe he wrote it, but... Allie's always been a, a bit skeptical on Brian's actions. Everything is just absolute garbage. So, we... Yeah, he's, he's he a total uh, narcissist. So but twisted and messed up that... I will of say... Of course, it was her fault that he couldn't save her. Whatever. I will say, we, we were the first to break the news about his cause of death, which, not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. I mean, it... It had already happened. It's not like we revealed anything that wasn't going to come out. But that was pretty cool. I mean, I, I when it came out, and I knew from the source. So we were at Brian Laundry's parents' house, and we talked to a, a source there. We have sources now that we're vloggers. And uh, this guy was really cool. He talked a lot about um, our van life and wanted to learn about us. And then he told us this kind of just nonchalantly. And we, we were like, well, we got to share this. So we did, and then, I don't know, a month or two later, it came out that Brian Laundrie used a gun to, you know, end his life. So I, was, I just thought that was kind of a unique, cool thing that we did. Not to toot our own horn, but I mean... Well, I guess that's what you get when you go there and put yourself yeah. in this situation. Right. You know, we would have never known that had we not gone. Yeah. Anyways. Look at um, what David says. That letter was fake. David's throwing I out some so uh, conspiratorial comments, which we like. I don't know where it could have come from or how they claimed it was him, and that could all just be for the media. I don't know. I don't really believe it either. Um, I, I'm i not sunburned, I promise. I'm just tan. Um, I, for some reason, the camera makes us, and this is like every live we go to, <laughs> it makes us look a little more tan or red than we are, but I'm brown as they come right now. I just... I don't know. I just look a little red. <laughs> uh, Blue Fingers says she, well, he or she remembers it's that Beck. episode. Oh, Beck. Mm. Okay, remembers that episode where we broke the news first. Yeah, you're good with names. I'm. I want to be. Uh, here. Deva's here. So Deva, I don't know if Deva, you. Deva, we got your gift. So thank you so much. I don't know if you saw just a few moments ago, but we have your gifts, and we are going to open them live on the live. <laughs> Maybe we should just do it right now since she's here. What do you think? We should. Well, well, let's ask her. Should we open them now? Yeah, yeah. Let's ask. Deva, what do you think? Let us know in the comment section. She's opening your burritos. gifts. Right now. Uh, it was cool to know what you guessed was true. Well, it wasn't really a guess. I agree. It was very cool. But it wasn't really a guess. It was a source telling us this is what happened because he knew he was like a reporter in the area and he knew the police. Yeah. He also could have been a little incorrect, but... He could have been wrong. You know, he could have been told or heard from the wrong source, but he didn't. Anyway. Right. 
moving on, I just, enough about him. I just, uh, what, what a loser. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Deva says yes. So, shall we? Sure. Why don't you go first, babe? Okay. We are very excited. This was very, very sweet of you. Yes, didn't thank need you. Didn't need to do that. And I know Denise was asking for the address too, so maybe we'll have something else from another devoted Van Fan member. Going to be a wonderful mother. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful card. Let's set those right here and have a kind of a backdrop. Thank you. Here Very got, cool. Uh, Very cool. She's just so, so loved already. It's. I think that's been the best part about pregnancy is feeling so much love and so mm, much I love that energy for it because the symptoms haven't been great. I know it's going to be worth it, but all of the love we've received for everybody has really changed and helped me help make this pregnancy a lot easier. Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh my gosh. This looks like a, a beautiful, beautiful cover. book called a mother is a story. Here, let's show them the uh, cover of it. I've never seen this book. A mother is a story. What does that second part say? A celebration of motherhood. Love that. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Dedicated to Allie. Beautiful. This is beautiful. I can't wait to read it. Oh, this looks like... It's got Look beautiful clips beautiful and, artwork. and gorgeous photos and everything in it. I'll read this tonight. before We have... Some of yeah, we'll, we'll read it to, together tonight. We have been watching um, a lot of videos. Well, we watched a series of four videos. Three of them were from a very, very, what well, we think this is a woman, smart midwife. This woman, a midwife, I think she's just been in the business for a long time, and she just knew her stuff. And, like, the entire, each 45-minute video was just, like, straight to the point. Yeah. Don't worry about this. That's completely normal. Don't worry about that. That's completely normal. This is what you need to do. This is how this works. And she was just so matter of fact. We're like, okay, that was great. And we learned so much. And, and it put, put us at ease in some ways yeah. and got us excited and other, yeah. Um, but Allie's been doing a lot of her, I'm trying to kind of keep up with Allie. She's been very um, diligent about taking care of. And I think that's probably why I'm not sleeping that well is because I I try, you try and like not think about everything that's coming out of dream. I started breastfeeding last night when my mom was there and then we knocked over all the milk that I got. And anyway, I had to call my mom and tell her that this was Come on, mom. <laughs> but it's just, uh, it's weird to dream all that. And then I like sleep for 10 minutes and then I wake up and I'm like, no, don't dream about that. Okay. So, so much to discover. To learn and to do, the whole world of a whole world of wonder is waiting for you. Thank you so much for this beautiful card. Many, many years of love and happiness. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank the you. thought and just the the love we get from you guys is so so nice. All right, what do we have here besides a very well done pack job? Okay. Oh my gosh. I oh, heart dad with the very so hungry cute. caterpillars. What a great theme, Deva. Thank you so much. Eric Carlisle. I think somebody told me he just passed away, but his, are, his um, illustrations are just gorgeous. Dad, you are easy to talk to and fun to play with. Mm -hmm. You can be silly, but you're still cool. I feel like this is just right up my alley. That's a sweet book. Even when... I'm feeling prickly, and I bug you. I have to show them the photos. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I feel like this is a good practice for reading to baby. <laughs> or toddler, maybe. You are always there. And catch me when I fall. A brand new book has nice pages. That's why I love you, Dad. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I wanted to say, we have an absolutely fantastic book collection going from these books and 
Um, yeah, I think books shower. are really, really important. So do I. Um, so was it last night or the night before we were sitting on the couch and dad was like, dad. <laughs> and he just cracked up laughing. Like I did that? Yeah, because oh. you're going to be a dad. Yeah, it feels it's weird. Just, it's just wild. Um, um, so we missed a bunch of comments. We missed a bunch Go of comments. And try and grab. Well, Lisa's here. Susie's here. We are. Susie, coming. I guess let's introduce what we're doing, huh? Since it's the theme of this month's lives, guys, is going to be cooking with Allie and Dan on live stream Sunday nights, right, babe? Yes. So, guys, tonight we are making uh, Japanese goiza or Japanese pot stickers and egg flour soup. So, an Asian theme. And I just want to show you guys what we're working with here. Whoops, hold on real quick. You'll find me loser, send me free. False alarm, guys. I'm going and here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this YouTuber, Andy Cooks. All the way along. Whoops. But uh, we're going to follow. I thought it was Dan at first because he's got tattooed arms. We're going to use that recipe. We'll show you guys a little bit of that video of how we're going to make those because I have made this meat mixture. This is a... Uh, Around pork and scallions or spring onions, cabbage, some other stuff. And then Oh look, Brenda Thompson's here. Hi Brenda. Sandarella is here. Alicia. On top of those, I've made um, homemade goiza wraps, uh, dumpling wraps, because I couldn't find them here in McCall to I would have rather buy them, but they were easy enough to make. We'll just hope. Hopefully they work. Fingers crossed. What do you think, babe? They look kind of small. They look pretty small. They're supposed to be three inches from what I read. So. Did you measure that out? Yeah, that's just under three inches because huh. we didn't have a cookie cutter. But I wish I had gone. And maybe cook them a little slower. Uh, yeah. Shorter. Yeah, yeah. But we'll have a lot of what them. What do so, I know? Yeah. What are you <laughs> it telling? just sounded like I, I knew what I was talking about, but <laughs> I don't. I don't know if you guys saw, pardon me, this week's episode, but Allie has been doing some some um, cooking of her own, and you're batting 50%. <laughs> the granola was great. The, what's that stuff called? Oh, the yogurt was terrible. The yogurt was oh a big. Oh my gosh, don't make your own. Except for, I don't know if you watched in the video. A lot of people did. I'm like, did. don't, <laughs> they mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so don't use a metal spoon. I'm mixing it in a metal bowl. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, maybe I should try it again. Lori Sheehan, Sheehan sorry, is here. Lori, Hi, Lori in the house. Always, always here. I love it. Katie Kramer from Oklahoma. I haven't been to Oklahoma. Um, David says we can use uh, his recipe. Did he mention something that we should make? <laughs> mm, not in this one, but he sent me some before. We'll have a look. Oh, did he? Oh, good. Okay, we'll do that. How do you smash the like button? Dan, I'm sorry we missed you in Michigan as well. The like button should be at the bottom of the video. It's a thumbs up and you just, just absolutely smash it. Right, babe? Yes, please. Um, hot and sour soup, says Laura Hope. And that was a very close second, Laura, I must say. I didn't even consult you. What would you have preferred? I don't know if I've had hot and sour soup. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Oh. It's so good. But I love egg flour too, or egg drop soup. Um, hi, Carrie. Carrie's here. Nicole, email, and I will get get you out some stickers. No worries. Um, we were already up here, I think. Wait, can you find where we were? Yes. Linda's Let's here. Let's just go all hi, the way Linda. to live chat. We are back okay. live. Um, Shelly asked, what are we making? We're making Japanese pot stickers, goizas, we just call them pot stickers, and uh, soup. So we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so in Japan, I went to Japan just before the world shut down in 2020, January 2020, and went on a ski trip with uh, five friends. It was amazing. Japan is incredible. But at a lot of restaurants, you can get these thingies, what are gyozas? Uh, yes. I don't even know what they're called. We're going to alley, alley cam, cam right now. And they, they would, um, <laughs> hi, they would put normal stuff in like, like let's say you had five people, people they put normal stuff in four of them and one of them they took put just wasabi 
and it, it, that's, that's a lot of wasabi. wasabi. And so, so you play, play roulette, gyoza roulette, and I got the one with wasabi, and it hit so hard and so bad that I punched my friend next to me because I was like, it felt like Nailed somebody me. was just like punching my face. And get this away, please. So guys, we've integrated a second camera for the cooking experience. Um, I think it might just be something we permanently use on our lives to give another element. Allie had the idea tonight that instead of dancing, if we see some super chats, if we see some gener um, some you know, you guys are so generous, you always are. So if we see some, we will uh, maybe do interpretive art or contemporary. <laughs> we might do like an interpretive dance or um, um, a charade of some sort, you know, something. We're going to kind of play with that tonight because we've been doing the music for so long. You've seen us, um, our bad dance moves long if enough. If you're new around here, when you hear this sound, that means the Super Chat has landed and um, we jump right to it because <laughs> we love the Super Chats, guys. It helps us out a lot and, and we just appreciate your generosity. So anyways... Babe, continue on. Hi, Charlene and Gina are here. Oh! Nice to have you guys here. The puppies say hi to everybody. They are still tired, I think, from... Um, we got Mr. Hawk over there. Hello, Mary. And if you guys can see, Pig is in that cage. That's that's a terrier. Hold on. Why is this mic on? That's a terrier right over there. Anyways, we're back. And Pele is right here at our feet. Yes, Pele is at our feet. She's, She's an absolute such a good girl. legend, great dog. Yeah. We love her. So how's this house sit been going for us? I'm sure people want to be filled in. We've been here for a week. We've kind of settled in. What are you thinking? Yeah, um, I mean, I we definitely take advantage of being in a house by shower. Well, I shower a little more than Dan, a lot more than Dan. Dan's had like two showers in the week that we've been here. Three. <laughs> Three. Hey, I'm in the lake every day, twice a day, so. Fair enough, but hot, I don't know. I had a bath just a little bit ago to loosen up my muscles because I wasn't going to have one tonight. Um, so I have been. You've been loving it. You've had a few yeah. baths. You've been you've been doing great. Yeah. Um, been using it to its full capacity. We're gonna do. I think we're gonna make a, a weekly hike. A part of our experience here. We're very close to the lake, Payette Lake, which is absolutely fan fantastic swimming. The dogs we get to walk them every day, and uh, they love playing. I mean, guys, Pig is almost swimming. And Farrier, my terrier, I've had that terrier for six years. And it's taken her six, all of those six years to start swimming. But. She'll go. So she used to like not even bother getting her feet wet. And now, now she'll go like a foot or two in the water to fetch a stick. Hold on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Susie. Okay. Here. Let's go to live. Um, this will be super, cat, super chat cam. I'm going to do an interpretive dance okay. right now. So if you could... Um, Okay, so let's see. Thank you, Susie. Oh, sorry. Okay, get me out of super chat care. Who I'm just, is I'm this channeling, guy? I'm channeling the Van Fam. I'm channeling. I've the never energy. seen him do that before. Uh, that's a four ninety nine super chat from Susie. That's an that's your own Susie, interpretive dance. Susie, that was dance. worth it if you asked um, me. Hopefully the best $5 you've ever spent. I don't Thank know. you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, interpretive dance any good or just should we go back to... <laughs> whoops. Why does it keep switching? I specifically said don't do that. Oh, I see what it is. Let's go right here. There we go. Okay, guys. Sorry, guys. You got a big Technical system here at the, at the Allie and Dan experience. Big system. I'm always... What do you think about the fact that I'm always integrating something new? <laughs> I... As long as... No, please. As long as... Excuse me. I don't have to do the technical, technical stuff of it. I don't care what he does. <laughs> People are saying that was fun, that was silly, 10 out of 10 from Susie, so that's all that matters to me. <laughs> Shelly says, I'll pay to see that again. Well, Shelly, I already forgot what I did. <laughs> I blacked out for like at least half of it. 
Um, um, okay, so Huckleberry why don't we... Huckleberry is here licking our feet. Yes, he do is. Do you guys think it's gross when dogs lick you, or do you just let them? Because Huckleberry, I used to think it was gross, and then dogs' tongues have like quite a lot of healing energy in them, and I kind of just let him. Yeah, I is love that a it. Bad no, habit? I. I let pig lick wounds. I let her. I I think there's something behind that. I really do. Yeah. Um. Wall, Wally's mama says, "Hello, beautiful couple and little one in mommy's tummy. You guys are amazing." Well, thank you. That always feels nice to hear. So thank you guys thank so you, much. Wally. Wally's um, mama. What do we got going on? We got a lot of chatters tonight, guys. We got a lot of good stuff going on. If you haven't already. Please just take a few moments. We'll give you a couple seconds and go down and just click that little thumbs up button so we can bring more of the Van Fam into tonight's live. And we're going to get started cooking here really soon. Um, what do we got going on? Whoa, my golly. Hold on, Aww. babe. Something just came through. Wow, thank you. You know what, babe? What's that? I just can't help myself. You'll probably lose or set me free. Oh my gosh, sometimes, I'm sorry, I have to watch him, but I'll give you another dance. Oh my gosh, guys, we just hit a massive super chat Thank you from so Diana. Much, Diana. Eye of the Storm Tarot. Buy Sissy a gift. Is that, is baby Sissy? Yeah. I think we should get Sissy a... Uh, you, you know what we could put that towards? Gosh, that's tough. Well, yeah, the... A, a lot it's of about things. 50. It's a pack of bottles. Mm. I still, we still have like quite a number of like random things to get, you know, like a pump and a, a travel crib and stuff like that. And so we will put it towards. I'm sorry. Too. I am sorry, guys. But it's your turn, babe. No. It's babe. No. Shelly. Shelly. Babe, whatever comes to you, let the oh, van no. fam flow through you. Oh no. Let it out. I don't know. Give me something else. <laughs> Shelly, mine's not as good. You wanted to see dance. Dan, give her yours. I, give her yours. Trust me, there's going to be more. If I know this van fam and they want to see me act a fool, they'll make it happen. So. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we will. We'll, well, hey, listen, guys, it's an interpretive art form here on the Allie and Dan Experience. Uh, Sunday Night Cooking, the month of August. We're so happy to be here. Babe, your thoughts? On? Anything. Oh, well, we, uh, we're we just so happy. To, I mean, to have solid internet like this means that we do get to do lives with you every yeah. week right now. So it's that's fantastic. really exciting. So um, thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Susie, and thank you, Diana. I'm sorry that my dance, Shelly, my dance moves were not quite up to Dan's. She says, uh, bottles is good. That works. That <laughs> We're going to need them, right? Babe, um, let's, what time is it? So it's been about 30. I say let's jump into our recipe. What do you think? Our recipe. Yeah, our recipe. So let me go right here. So, so guys, guys, let's, let's just, just take a peek at what Andy cooks. This, this is what we're going to be doing, so we want to share it with you guys. Um, let's go. And then you're going to fill it up. And then as you go. Hold on, I want to make sure. Guys, can someone in the chat let me know? Can you guys hear the YouTube video when we play it? Let me know if you guys can hear that video, or else I'm not going to bother playing it if it doesn't come through. Ooh, a bouncy seat. Deborah Blevins with a good idea. Uh, yeah. Guys, real quick, can you hear that video? Why is this? Dan's gotten real technical with us. There's a lot of wires and things going on in here, and I don't know what's what. Um, oh, she, she I'm echoing. That. I saw that. Sorry about that, guys. They can't hear. I fixed the echo. Could you guys hear the YouTube video? It echoes through our speaker. Okay. Um, no worries. Oh, they can. Yeah, I, I, there was an echo. I fixed that. That turned on. I don't know how. Let me just... But does... Is it still echoing? I don't know how much 
of a I, lag. I turned the echo off. There's no echo, but they can hear the video. Okay, so let's jump into this. You say you want at least seven folds. Now that, that's got eight in it, I think, which is probably one too many. Um, but yeah, you can't want seven folds. So, in the tray, and another one. Mixture just off center. Try and keep it in a rugby ball shape. It's gonna make your life easier. Also, don't try and overfill them. Little touch of water around the outside edge. Okay, guys, that was boring. Um, I thought maybe that would be okay to show, but basically that's what, you get the idea. We're gonna be trying our best to use these wraps <laughs> to fold up some pot stickers. So, babe, you ready to try it? Well, I will be Dan's cheerleader for all of this. You've unmuted us, right? They yeah, can hear us they can all hear now. Us now. Everything's going well. No more experimenting on tonight's live, guys. Just wanted to try and see, playing a video, you never know. So let us get started. So guys, I got some paper thin, it's basically salt, flour, boiling water, and I put it right here in a damp paper cloth so that they don't dry out. But you ready for me to start? First try, why don't we jump over to kitchen cam? All right. Here we go, guys. Kitchen cam. Uh, I am going to try. This is a little funky one here. Maybe I can spread it out. So. Oops. Oops, lucky doggies. No, I can't let Pele get that. <laughs> Huck, get this. Okay, guys. That's too much. A um, little bit of water, babe, right there. That's how we do that. Looking now. good. Looking professional so far. <laughs> so far, so I'm good. liking it. Okay, so. The method is you like kind of push pinch. and fold it over. Uh-oh. Pinch. Uh-oh. Too full? Maybe. Oh boy, guys. This is literally the first time I've ever done this. So let me just see if I can keep packing that in there. Push. I think it pinch. needs to be more empty. Yeah, let's empty some out. Let's take a little bit. Oh my gosh. Luckily, I have plenty. <laughs> That's how we're trying to get them both, as you can see. Anyway, um, so maybe you should practice a few. And I'll then practice we can a get few them a good, while you... A good. And I'll chat with you guys while yeah, you get a few, Van Fam few going. Keep the occupied so that I don't screw this oh, up Oh, Jennifer, I just, got your, I just wrote your stickers out. Um, I've already contacted my health insurance company, and for some reason, hey. they don't give a pump. Um, but that's okay. They cover a lot, and I get a lot of massages and all that. They just don't do a pump for some reason. So it's a little blurry at that. What do you think? No, it's W. Yep. Okay, guys. Allie just went over to kitchen cam. Uh, it's not the prettiest. I go over here because the I'm light. Like... It's not the prettiest, but it uh, it's my first ever Yay! attempt. So let's see if we can get a round of applause for that. Yay! Let's do it. We'll just put it right on that tray there. We'll get better at all of this for you guys. Thank you for being here. I can safely say right off the bat that these are way too small. So I'm going to try something here. I'm going to get a little crazy. Ta -da -da -da. Glory says I'm looking radiant this evening. Thank you, Glory. Wow. How am I looking? Carrie says they look yummy. Thank you, Carrie. I'm sure they're going to taste good. I just don't know if they're going to look like the way. Jammin' with Will is here. Thank hey, you for joining us tonight, haven't seen, Will. Haven't seen Will in a while. Don't forget the water on the edges, Sherry says. Yeah, it helps yeah. us stick together. Less inside, sir, says David. Less inside, yeah. Good. Food art by Dan. <laughs> Holly, it is. Oh, thank you so much, Deborah. 
Um, Laura, Oops. yeah, I thought, okay, so Dan had this all set up, and I came in here, and there was a screen. She said that looks like Dan's sleeve, so that guy, Andy Cooks, has tattoos like Dan's on, Dan on his arms. And I was like, wow, Dan made them so good already as sure. I was watching the screen. It wasn't Dan. It was somebody else. Denise is here. Thank you, Denise, for joining us. Nice to see you. DeQuinto. DeQuinto's in the house. Linda Heckert's here. Linda. Oh, yeah. She is always on the lives. We love that. People are saying they look pretty good. They're giving you a round of applause. Wow. Thanks, guys. This Becky one's... Kendall says better than mine came out. Better than mine could come out, too. This one is... Going better? Much better. Nice. Guys, oh, round. looks professional. Yeah, the folds are a little, the folds are a little off, but. I think, well, I'd, I'd eat that. Okay, Would well, I'm just going to be rolling goiza while you guys chat. Allie's running chat tonight. A little cornstarch in the water helps sealing the dough. Really? Hmm. I've happened to have that. Right here. Thank you so much. Who is that from? He did put uh, that, excuse me, that chat is from Holly Dolly. Holly Dolly, thank you much. Uh, he did put water, but yeah, we'll try the cornstarch and see if that works. I just incorporated the cornstarch, so that is a nice suggestion. Shelly would like to know where you've acquired your love of cooking, and I think it's sweet. Uh, well, that's a great question. I've was raised by my mom, obviously. My mom and my grandmother are very good cooks. And they basically always were cooking. I, you know, I'm just grateful that they always had great meals every night. We had dinner as a family. I think that's pretty important. But uh, so just from eating my mom and grandma's food. Yeah. That's it. Maybe mom's on this live. I don't know. My well, mom or your mom? No. Well, hopefully both moms, but... Well, moms, if you're here, give us a shout. Um, Becky and Lisa both say I'm glowing. Thank you. Um, I, I have to agree with them. just got out of the shower, <laughs> put on some face lotion, but thank you. Mercedes is here. She says, what time is it where you are? And it is 6.38 p.m. So we are an hour off from the, are we at mountain time then? Yes, yeah. mountain standard time. It's Ethel Wing's first live. Thank you for joining us, Ethel. We like to have fun. We're not very serious. And Dan, this is actually our first live where Dan's cooking as well. He's making, oh no, we had another live where you were making. Uh, We've cooked casually. Something else. What are those little gnocchi? Yeah. We've cooked casually in quite a few lives, but this is the second one where it's kind of we wanted to cook with you guys. Cat's in the house. Hi, Cat. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hey, Allie and Dan, are we going to take a poll on names you guys like for little baby girl? Actually, Deborah. We can share some names that we like, right? Yeah. But I think she means, like, to find the final name. And we do have her final name, don't we? We do. I think we do. We do. It's official, guys. We can safely say we have the final name chosen. Because we call her that, and then all of a sudden we'll be like, oh, what about this name? And it just doesn't feel quite the same. Yeah. So that's her name. Well, there was an instance where our live stream a couple, like a month and a half ago or so, we got some really great so names many great from names. you guys. And so we actually were like, well, I didn't think of that name. I will say Savannah was one we that we Savannah. really, really liked. But Sound really Southern Belle, which was really cute. We've not spent a lot of time in the South, but it's still very cute. Um, what other ones did we like? Well, we really liked... Um, we had like a number... Oh, Sequoia. Michaela. I loved Sequoia. Or, Michaela. Yeah, that kind of name. Um, oh boy. A lot. We loved a lot of the recommendations, also. But then a lot of my friends or cousins or something have that as their baby name already. Like the name and Charlie. I'm for sure, example. they wouldn't mind. But 
I don't know. I just didn't didn't feel right. So we're going with our own one. And this is a name. Crown Royal says, practice makes perfect. And look, by his force. <laughs> this one's terrible. Wait, I think you need even a little less. I know. Uh, is Well, that guy had an accent and he was saying three inches. Maybe he meant like... No, Another it was the recipe. I'm he didn't kidding. say how big to cut them. Kate's here. Hi, Kate. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. We wish that we could share these with you all. Love life. Mrs. Kate in the house. Darla says she's never had pox stickers. Thanks for introducing new foods. You've never had a pot sticker. Well, you just pop them right in your mouth. They're they so good. They are delectable. In um, India and surrounding countries, but India... Well, I guess in the north eastern part, they call them momos, and I don't know what they put in them, but you can get like five momos for 30 cents or something ridiculous. Wow. And I lived off of momos when I was there. Super yummy. I'd like to hear some feedback on what do you guys think about the episodes in our vlog lately? Anybody got any feedback? We'd love to hear ways we can improve or... Things that you've liked. Yeah. We started doing little shorts too, just because. Those are really helpful. We have the fine. Um, we have the time, excuse me. And uh, they kind of been fun because I can make them too, whereas Dan is better at making episodes and stuff. Um, and yeah, we've been doing short. Do you guys like shorter or longer? I guess it depends on the topic and what we're doing. But yeah. We're trying to do um, episodes that not all of them are like 25 minutes. Some of them maybe we get into the 10-minute range, 12-minute range, just to see. We're always trying to play because this is something that we, like we said many times, want to do long term. And so whatever we can do to give you guys the best product, that's basically what we're after. Just see. Olana, Olana has caught us here. And it's her first live. Hello. Or maybe not her first, but she finally caught us live. Many um, people here seems like here maybe for the first time. De Quinto has to go. Thank you for joining us. She's got to make dinner for her kids. I know she smashed the like button before she left. Oh, but yeah. Thank you for joining us, De Quinto. Always nice to see you. Robin's here. Robin from Michigan. Glad you could make it. Robin McLeod. Oh yeah. Ethel says, what is the filling he's using? Good question. Very good question. So it's cabbage, green onion, and meat. Uh, ground pork. Ground pork. Yeah, which is a nice filling because it's uh, not overly flavorful, and it's got 20% fat, so that helps with the... Uh, Overall final product. That might have been my best one, guys. Woo! That okay, might have been one, my best two, two. one. By number six, he's a professional. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. You silly goose, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We did cook the bread. You're right. Kate's right. We cooked the bread. Um, yes, we have done lots of cooking. Let's hear the final name, says David. We are going to keep that. I'm even keeping it from my family and everything. We are going to keep that until the baby comes. You want to know why? I'm going to tell you a little story. We were out with some friends, and the somebody, another couple that we know is pregnant, and the, somebody shared the name, and somebody else went, oh, that's a terrible name. And I felt so terrible that I thought, what if somebody says that about our baby's name? And then I feel upset and then don't want to name her that. So I don't want to do that, even though everybody says you're going to be nice and blah, blah, blah. When I think when you're, when the baby has the name already, you have no choice but to like it because you love the little baby. So we're just going to wait because I don't want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confident our name will be popular amongst the van fam of course oh, i and think you'll like it i family mean family and friends i think it'll be so hard not to like but um denise said are you giving us a clue well babe that's up to you 
Deborah says journey. It's we not should journey, give, even though it's a really pretty name. That's a great name. Yeah. We should give the Van Fam a clue. Turn the camera. How many names will she have? Um, just a first, middle, and then Dan's last name. Yes, because and Allie middle. and I will be becoming an official family. Are it's we? just we did it. Well, I mean, that's what I planned. Sh should I comply? That's up to you. Um, but I'm saying we just did things in a different order, guys. And I think there's no problem with that. I know some people it's not something normal, I guess, which is okay. But for us, it works. Ken McComas is here. Ken. Howdy, guys. I'm here. What are you cooking? I'm hungry. He's got his plate and his fork, his spoon, ready to go. <laughs> I wish we could. It'd be amazing if we could, like, make, have everybody at, uh, we should do a gathering. We've been, obviously we've been have wanting to do that, yeah. A gathering and obviously have some sort of food involved that Dan makes. <laughs> Um, I missed, somebody said I should make one myself. Yeah, you should try one. Sandarella said, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Um, it's tough. <laughs> Props to people that get really good at this. Uh, well, I'm say, glad you guys like the short, the shorts. Thank you. Yeah, they're getting a lot of views and like Allie's been doing some really good ones that have gotten a good amount of views and they brought in. Some new subscribers for us, so we like to see new subscribers. Yeah. Um, As we are trying to grow our channel, we're just doing whatever we can. Um, we are... Wait, I just had a question or something. Everyone's been liking the episodes. Robin is here with <laughs> Super Chat. Okay, Robin, you may have missed that the very start of this that we have decided instead of our boogie dance moves, we're doing some interpretive and Dan decided this. We're doing some interpretive dance. And Dan, I think that maybe you should give us one while while you cook. What is your mental mind going through while you're making those? Well, you got to get to the interpretive okay, dance okay. cam if you really want me to do it. Um, no, I, I don't want to do it while I cook because I want to put my full energy into it. So just give okay. me one sec. I've got this goiza going, guys. What are you thinking as I... He's got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine already so far. And then after that, I'll try and make one myself. Yeah, you'll try. Um, okay, so... Who sent us, Robin McLeod sent us a super chat, Nine, what is that, Nine ninety nine. Okay, guys, this is going to be a charade. Ready, babe? I'm ready. That was me. Receiving a pizza that I ordered without tipping the delivery driver. <laughs> but now time for an interpretive dance. <sighs> I got to stop. Sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> Who is this guy? It was great. It was awkward. It Wait, sucked. I I'm stupid, but I did it, and it was for Robin McLeod with the 9.99. Super okay, I already know what uh, charade I'm going to do now. We should do charades. Yeah. That's better than interpretive dancing. I can't interpretive dance. I thought it was a good charade, though. Ordering. Um... Okay, guys. Allie Let's wants swap. to do one. We're gonna swap. I'm going to cook. I'm basically becoming a chef in this house. I'm going to let you do one. <laughs> and One. so don't get in over your head here <laughs> cowboy jason kingsbury is here thank you for joining us jason jason in the house okay andy says he loves our cooking ideas 
You lost me at pork. Sorry, David. I know. Okay, babe. Probably saw it in my face. I'm behind on the chats. My bad. Okay, guys. Allie is going oh, to attempt a goiza. So let's jump over to goiza cam and see what we get. Okay. Does that look like too much? Yeah, kind of compact it in. No, that's good. That's good amount. You just want to make it a rugby rugby shape. And you want it off center. Well, just go your just you didn't you gotta wet it. Wet it, wet it, wet it. Wet it, wet it. A little dip. Wet it, wet it. It's a little dip. We gotta wet it. All right. Here we go. You gotta use your Guys, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, Look. It, it looks like a soup dumpling. Make oh. sure to really press those edges so they're sealed because it'll open oh, up. Oh, wait, I got to try one more. No, 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 no. What? We only have so many wraps. I've only got this many wraps that I made. Okay, well. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, you could do another one. No, that's okay. You can, you can do another one. Okay, una mas. One more. Guys, Allie's going to do one something. more. But before we do that, i got a couple of SCs coming in. And you know what time it is. Ooh, thank you. Okay, wait. i got to... I need to do this interpretive um, charade, though, and I need Pig for it. Okay, go um, grab your terrier. In the meantime... But then I can't... I'm not going to... Aho! Namaste! That's... that's that's Cat. Cat in the house. Guys, Allie's going to do an interpretive charade because we got a great super chat. I love any length video, but the shorts are fun for a quick dose of adventure. I love it. Thank you very much, Cat. Okay, this is my interpret. This is my charade. <laughs> That was turning piggy into bacon. Uh, okay. <laughs> turning my terrier into bacon. Wow. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't adopted the name Ann Farrier. I still call her Piggy. We got a couple super chats here as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jennifer dropping a couple 99 cent super chats. So, babe, why don't we wow, jump? Thank you, Jennifer. I'm going to give you guys one more interpretive dance. So, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I am so just confused is, at what's happening I mean, when I do those. I'm really sorry. He feels so sorry. comfortable around you guys that that's what he he does. Yeah, I guess that's that's what's going on there. I love that. Was that one good? That was, that was your best one. Really? Oh, well, the first one. The first one was the silliest. A little wacky. You didn't know what to expect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jennifer. Two ninety nine. A uh, couple super chats. Hey, Denise is here. We already said hi to Denise. Oh, did we? Derp. Um, A wedding would be so beautiful in the mountains. Yes, I think it would need to be in the mountains if we have one. Denise said she did it in that order. First child. Denise did? Yeah. Well, if Denise did it in that order, I'm okay with doing it in that order even more. Wait a second. Dan didn't wash his hands. <laughs> Good call. I did. I did. I washed my hands before. Oh my gosh. I just did like my fastest and best one. Wow. Dan says. Look at that. Or Jason says he'd like to see a sweetie kiss. Really? Okay. <laughs> you ask and, and we deliver. You know, remember how we do this, babe? Oh. <laughs> Come and get it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Guys, we are on one tonight. I'm sorry. Introducing the second camera has just absolutely changed the game for us tonight, guys. You have to let us know your thoughts afterwards if there's too much too much wackiness going we haven't on. Done, we don't know. We haven't done a sweetie kiss in 
a long time. I actually forgot about the Sweetie Kiss. So that was a good reminder. Bruce Crazy Kiter is here. Oh, and Bruce, Bruce, we have to tell you. First off, we talked to the phone to Kelly tonight. She said to say hi. Oh, yeah. Um, Dan's meticulous grooming of dinner. He'll be an ace at changing diapers. Hey, who said that, Bruce? Yeah, that's a really nice comment. That it was. Charlene and Jean, this is really sweet to hear from you. Wait, how do I add it to it? Uh, add to broadcast. Your video keeps us guessing great adventures. I love that. Thank you, Charlene and Jean, for okay, that Okay, Bruce likes the kitchen cam. Looking better all the time. They are. His, his kiosas are looking quite pretty good. Everybody loves the dogs. Everybody loves the dogs, huh? We've been having an absolute blast with Pele, getting her into the mix with how we do things. She's been a great addition for the time that we are here in Idaho, so that's been great. Did Dan lose his razor? Why? <laughs> do I need to shave? Yeah, I need to shave, you guys. You shave. What's going on in um, the chat? Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I'm reading too many, and I'm getting... Laura thinks you're an awesome dancer. Oh, thanks, Laura. And we are so happy that we met you on YouTube as well. Thank you, Deborah, for being here. Thank you, Deborah. That's sweet. Um, we used to think going live was like, oh, we got to plan out and go live, and we got to tell everybody, and we got to make an announcement and all this stuff. And now we're just like, well, let's just go live and just hang out. And if people want to join us and hang and chat, this is great, you know? Yeah. Um, Denise has just called our daughter Shaniqua, <laughs> <laughs> which I love. That's not going to be her name either. Um, but I think she probably will. I hope she does cook with her dad. Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely, she will. I'll t I will teach her as much as I can, and Dan will teach her to cook. Somebody said, uh, <laughs> "Common law van lifers." We are Bruce. I like that. Um, somebody said that. Guys, sorry to interrupt, but I just have to say, guys, look at that. And this one is good nope. because I got a lot of meat. Or I got a lot of filling in it. We Very currently nice. have. They'll probably seven, explode if you fill, fill them too full. Twelve. Um. So we have. We don't really have um, too many trips planned from McCall. Just day trips, mainly because there's a kitty here. Kitty is not that interested in what's going on downstairs. Um, but she did, he did let me pet him yesterday really? and because of the extra dog, dogs. So I don't think we're going to go away too much in the van, but Pele, the dog, whenever we're in the van doing anything, jumps right in like she's ready to go on an adventure. So maybe we shall see. Um, we're going to figure out. We figured out what we can do here. We're just uh, in the works of a few things yet. Are you making a dipping sauce? Yeah, I, I don't think I have. I forgot to get chili. What is that? Chili paste or whatever. Um, so it'll just be like soy sauce and maybe sesame oil or something like that. I don't know. That's one thing I got back from the grocery store and I was like, ah, Whoa! Oh, all of a Tracy. sudden I hear those horns. Tracy is back with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Tracy from Australia. And she's got a super chat. What should we show her? Um, let's show her. Gosh, this is tough. I think we should you should have had a list of. I think you should do a charades. dance. Can you try another dance, please? A dance. Come from around the corner. It's How about easier. A cheer. You guys want me to see? It's easier when you come from the corner. Yeah, cheer. You guys want to see? It's I up, used it's to up be to a you. cheerleader in high school, and I can remember one. I don't know the words, but it was like. 
something like this. Wow. <laughs> now I you just gotta... have blonde hair too. Let's go, super chats. Yay! <laughs> That's uh, that's cheerleader alley there, guys, for us. How Did great you, was that? Cheerleading was super fun. I actually really loved it, but um, it's just funny because I don't know if it really matches. Not at all. My personality, but but I'm not upset to tell school. people that my girl was a cheerleader. <laughs> um, I got no problems with that. Let's make her make a human name for Huckleberry. Oh, I like this. Yeah, like something similar to Ann Farrier's got going on. Well, I did like. I tell you that I before I got Huck, I couldn't decide of the name of Huck or Norm, like Norman. And he's a little bit of a Norman. He's a total Norman. Because he's kind of like dirt. But <laughs> I've just hey, never Mom. called him that. I call, he's, he's got a ton of nicknames. There's not a lot of human nicknames. So we got to give him one because Ann Farrier has got a great one that everyone loves. So, you know. Evan says, what work did we both do before van life? Good question. I was in the construction management business at Intel in Oregon. And I helped install some of their, oh boy. <laughs> Messy like my career at Intel. <laughs> I wasn't an Intel employee. I was what's called a green badge, kind of like a second class citizen out there. But I, uh, yeah, I did construction management in the semiconductor field for five years. And then I guess real quick before you go, I ended up leaving that job and starting an Instagram marketing business that actually was quite successful for a couple of years and then kind of died out, which I was okay with because I didn't really like that business and now I don't even use Instagram because I don't like Instagram all that much. I'm a YouTube guy because I like long form. I like being able to connect like this. So babe, what was your profession? Please indulge us. I worked for a uh I worked for an automotive refinishing business and I did I was like a um what was my title? I did, I like to say, I helped people get started and open up their business, and my idea was that I would help them um, start their online presence and get their website going and their social media, and um, kind of like a little bit of business development, and I did like relations, what, what is that called? Um, <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember. Um, and I worked with wonderful, yeah, marketing stuff like that. And I worked with a wonderful company. Um, and I just didn't really have a whole lot of passion for the industry. Although we would like to have the, um, the actual, uh, transformation of this aftermarket product on your vehicle is incredible. And we might get it done to Helen one day because it is, it is, Honestly, makes your car look brand new again. And Helen has been through the ringer down with the cactuses and stuff in Baja. So we might do that to her to spruce her up again one day. Little treat um, for Helen, guys. Yeah. She's I'll, deserved. She earned if it. If we do it, we'll definitely share it with you guys because it is, if you go to like sell your vehicle, you can really add a ton of value onto it. And it's a great product, a, a great company. And I was just ready to. Do my own thing. And we met right at that time. Very serendipitous meeting, I might say. Because here we are now with our new thing that we're doing, and we're doing it together. That's right. All right, let's jump into chat and see what people are saying. Okay, like, Lori says, quick question, Dan. Did you teach yourself to operate your drone? She says it's yeah. never shaky. Yes, I did. Self-taught. Self-taught. I had a different drone before that, so I kind of learned how to do it then, and then I just was able to move on into this one. Terry's here. Hi, Terry. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we are, will we ever travel around the East Coast? You know, we were going to this summer, and then with gas prices, we decided maybe it's best to kind of be a little more conservative with our money. Um, with baby on the way. So I'm sure we will get there. 
one day. Absolutely. We would like to. Um, it's just, it's very far. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's definitely on the cards for one day. Okay, guys, I've got three more wraps left, and then we are going to be cooking. Once This is kind of the boring part, honestly. And once I get cooking, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to make with this, and I think that's really going to bring some excitement to the Van Fam. Um, Denise says she is, even has has la, 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 gifts for the dogs. No way, Denise. You're so sweet. That's very thing. That's very kind of you, and we're very thankful for you. Um, we yeah, we are making use of having an address right now, so that's really, really nice to be able to um, get a few things from you guys, including these books behind us. If you didn't yeah. see, we got those from a Van Fammer. And um, it just having an address is probably one of the most difficult things about being on the road. You have to really plan ahead um, or buy stuff in stores, which I know doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it it's difficult. Starts to be a bit difficult. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot of people think like the showering and the toilet and stuff is like, whoa, how do you do that? It's really a lot of different stuff that you don't wouldn't normally think about. Like male. Bruce says um, earlier, he says, if you think Dan's dance moves are good, you should see him on a strapless surfboard. That is true, Bruce. Bruce. That is true. Dan is Bruce? very talented. That is true. I got to toot my own horn. And now he honk. says Dan's girl was a cheerleader turned kiteboarder bum. <laughs> that is true as well, Bruce. Lori is here. Hi, Lori. Thank you for being with us tonight. Will says, name Huck Thomas Blackwell. Thomas He's very astute. Blackwell. That's a great name. Thomas Blackwell. That's funny. Oh, look at this. Yeah. It's almost been a year since Gabby's passing. I mean, we are. Oh, I know. That's like right. What is the date today? Yeah. We'll have to. Maybe we'll do something. Yeah. It, I mean, that's crazy. It's absolutely crazy to think that it's been a year. And her poor family have been without her for a year. Went by really fast. All right, last one, and then I'm starting to cook these bad boys. Moonlight, you have been sending. She's. You have been sending us um, some recommendations as far as a car seat for the van, and we've kind of been going through all of the options, there's not many, um, and just really thinking about the pros and cons of them and the costs of them and figuring out what is going to be the easiest and safest for us to install. And I, uh, the we're, number one priority. we're waiting to hear back from a couple of companies about particular seats, um, before we, uh, pull out any tools for the job. So we'll see. I would like to get it done sooner rather than later, but. Yes. Okay, guys. Can we jump over to uh, Goiza Cam? Whoops. Guys, Goiza Cam, this is what I've got going on right here. So not bad. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Allie's phone to figure out the last part of the recipe. And we are going to. Nice shot, babe. Look at that, guys. That looks pretty good. Some. Not so good ones in there, but that's okay. And I'm gonna cook these on the stovetop, and it's gonna come out restaurant quality. This one's the prettiest. Cause Is that yours? <laughs> this one's Allie's, guys. Dare to be different, as I always say. Okay, let me see. First, I'm gonna see 133 people on the live stream. What's going on with that? That's awesome, guys. We got 133 people, but only 115 likes. So let's get some likes going on right now because I just finished the goizes. Thank you, guys. Okay, pot stickers by Andy. Okay. Now I just got to see how to do this.
Okay, sorry. We're get we're not uh I just got to do this. You got to be with the Van Fam for a sec. Okay. Voting for Bruce's idea. Wait, I must have missed it. Just dropped in from the UK. What have I missed? What's cooking? Claire, always nice to have you here. Is it also like 1 something a.m.? Thank you so much for being awake for us. Dan is making goizas. Gyozas. And they whoop, are, um, you know, like little pot stickers. So those are going to be yummy. And he's also going to make uh, maybe... Um, egg drop soup. Yeah. How long are we going to leave Piggy in the oven for? Um, Lori, that's so sweet of you. I have perfect okay. complexion. I can guarantee you I don't. I just started using different face creams to try and even out. I have spot sunspots and stuff. I think it's just because I kite surf and I'm in the water a lot. So I'm going to use this pan, guys, and I'm going to put some oil in here, and then I'm going to put the goizas in, uh, fry the bottom of them, and then add some water and flour mix with salt in it, and that's going to make a nice crispy, crispy crust. So let's dive right into that well. Debra, um, as to not like give our address to the whole wide world, if you don't mind, just email me and I will um, I will send you an address to send us something to. Thank you so much for asking. Um, let's see. Wait. I must have missed something. Sorry, guys. Bands are going full on electric in the coming years. Maybe that's what you're talking about. Yes, I want to get one. There's actually the Ford Transit is coming out with an electric van, but it doesn't go very far, so it doesn't make it a very good contender for van life. But I'm certain that moving forwards, it they will have something figured out for sure. Um, Lori, thank you, Lori. Thank you for liking this. Okay, guys, I'm excited. Brenda said, as, as long as they look good, it doesn't matter what they taste like. Yeah. No, she said it does, doesn't. You guys, my brain does not work. Um, as long as they taste good, it doesn't matter right. what they look like. Right, that I was going to say, the first one sounded a little different. So, quarter cup water. Hi, Naylene. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Todd Raber. We should check in with Todd and see how he's doing. The legend. The legend Todd who was showing us around at um, Mayachi Creek. What was that place called? Mayachi. Mayachi. Um, here, Deborah, let me... Okay, oil's getting hot, guys. Deborah, if you can just email me and I will send you our address. Um, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, Carrie, yes, we do have a registry. Um, it's on baby list, and you can type in my name, Allison Vondering. I can share it here if it's you also, guys. It's also on our new channel's latest video. It is on our new channel's latest video. Um, I can I can share it here. I don't want anyone to feel like they have to get baby anything. Um, but if you guys want to send something, that would be very sweet of you. Um, yeah, pregnancy brain is a real thing. Here, let me... Do you have my phone? Uh, it should be right over there. Um... David, come get the, can you get Goiza Cam going real okay, quick? Okay, guys, we've got Goiza Cam. We'll be able to go. How do I do it again? Press W. Hold on, we got to go here. Sorry, guys, we're going to Goiza Cam, though. There's Goiza Cam. All right, so you can only go so far, but you can see what I'm doing here. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Are they sticking to the pot? I don't know what's going on, guys, but... 
<laughs> Some people might know what I'm trying to do here. Are you making a flower? Oh, no. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm just going to leave these for now. I'm going to let the oil cook them. And then I've got this slurry right here of flour, salt, and water. I think I may have used too big of a pot. Or too big of a pan. Dang. Guys, this is happening live. Uh, I'm having a freak out. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Maybe I can switch pots. I'm going to attempt the unattemptable, guys. This is brave of you. I'm going to move them to a different pan. Uh, I'm going to put a tiny bit of oil in. I would have never attempted a new recipe With the without the A, thinking about it for a month first, or B, on a live stream. That's why I love Danny. He's just so, that's, that's brave. Cooking to me is very brave. So, I'm going to attempt this move, guys. This is huge. This is the kitchen cam. This is Goiza cam live. Um, this is what you signed up for tonight. Woo, let's see it. Here they go. So I'm going to line them up better. Ooh, they're burning. Hold on. Turn that off. Oh, boy, guys. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Use a thingy. Do you want a thingy? I need my tongs. Tongs, thank you. My sous chef was ready. Oh boy, guys, we're having a little bit of, an, of a moment together tonight. Yeah, I should have foreseen that this pan was too big. It's getting, getting a little wild in here. Are you meant to flip them around? I don't know. No, they're going to steam. Dan is, uh... <laughs> Pressure's on, guys. I mean, if, if I've ever needed your support, Van Fam, it's right now. I am cooking goizas, and the goizas are hot. We got hot goiza here. Hold on, hold on. Dang, those goizas are hot, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, here's the situation. Oh, is that the one I made? That's Allie's. Oh, oh no. How'd they get so burnt? <laughs> not all of them are like that, we so. We can just uh, not eat that bit. Um, yeah, okay, so, I might chat with the van fam, chat with the van fam, chat amongst yourself. see what's going on, maybe they have some, um, maybe you guys have some tips that got a little crazy over there, smells a little burnt, but we're doing good. Um, okay, I just put the slurry in, now I'm going to cover it, need to add it. water and cover them and let them cook. Then uncovered a crisp up. That's exactly oh, okay. what I did. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm back with you after a pretty harrowing situation. <laughs> uh, watch out for the grease fire. Yeah, that would hurt very badly. In fact, my cousin taught me to cook one thing, and I tried to make it by myself, and I was wearing a bathing suit because it was like a million degrees, and I burnt my chest by like, belly, I guess, and I decided I would never cook again. Okay, guys, I'm back with you. Let me see this real quick. Um, let's jump into, let's catch up with chat. Um, pretty sure, those are supposed to be pretty brown on the bottom. Okay, Terry's giving me some uh, confidence there. Still better, <laughs> Bruce dropped a, a bomb on you right here. Still better than Allie's granola. Actually, that's not true. It's better than her yogurt. No, the granola my, was 10 I, out of 10. I have to say my granola was... Uh, Lisa says, you got yeah. this. Thank you, Lisa. Um, two casualties isn't bad. Yeah, only two. The, the rest seem to be doing pretty good, I think. Uh, yeah, what do we know, though? <laughs> okay, are you wanting to share this? 
Let me just copy this. We can actually go through this with the van fan, but I'll throw this in the chat real quick. Okay, guys, here is dun, 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 the registry for those who asked. It's also in the chat, but babe, are you interested in taking us through this at all? I mean, if they want to see the baby list. Well, I haven't even seen it, so I mean. I... I'm just so excited. I can't wait to have her and have getting, everything to, I don't know. It's getting to the point everything. where we're just like. 13 more weeks, guys. 13 more weeks. Yep. I, I could not sit like that. Sorry. There we go. Uh, we got 140 likes. That's 140 awesome situations going on. So thank you, guys. If you haven't liked, just a little boop. Um, yeah, they're brown on the bottom, but those are almost black on the bottom. Um, Fire Marshal Bill, possibly. We got close there, David. Close. <laughs> they, yeah, we're we're pretty good. Fans on, doors are open. Yeah, maybe buy some unburnt goises. I think that, but I think uh, not all of them are burnt. So I just showed you the ones that were on the pan just a little too long. Whoa, something just came in. Hold on. I think... Oh, there it is. Oh, she says to buy some... <laughs> you got us. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Thank you so much, Tracy. Even though I said we weren't going to do it, let's just do it one time, okay? <laughs> I just, up? Sure. Oh, okay. Well, here, we'll go to we'll go to Goiza Cam for this. Okay. Guys, let's see a good old-fashioned bump shot. Um, I see, must say... As you see, I'm not wearing a um, pregnancy outfit today, so it doesn't look quite as much of a bump. Yeah. I was going to say, actually, yesterday we were on a hike, and Allie was in some pregnancy yoga shorts and man did you look pregnant in those yoga shorts holy moly and man did i feel pregnant no i don't feel so pregnant just breathing i get so out of breath when i'm um doing anything hi carrie carrie's here okay what is the baby's name if it turns out to be a boy we actually because i thought it was a boy we actually have a boy's name picked out as well but we do hope we have a boy one day. We know for a fact it's not a boy. Yeah, we saw on the scan and the blood test and everything. So, Yeah, we were uh, not really thinking it was going to come out a boy, but the blood test is so accurate, but we never, we, you never know. Yes, we did pick her name. Uh, I think Terry asked that. But um, we're just choosing to wait until... She's born to share that name. Yeah. So. Well, I shared the story a little earlier, but we just don't want to have any negative feedback and have it like sway our decision on what to name her because will, we do really love it. I will say, speaking of names, my brother and his wife are having a second child and they just yeah. found out it's a girl. So that's really exciting because we'll now have a cousin that's a girl she within a few a months of our that is like three months, four months younger, four months younger than she is. We're talking about doing a name for name swap. We're not sure if, if we're going to do that, but we'll see. Anyways, we'll see. that's cool. Um, uh, so people looks like someone said they want to go through the list here. Do you guys want to see a few things? On yeah. The you guys want to go through the list real quick? What is the baby's name? If it turns out to be a, oh, we already talked. Yeah. We're going to have to hide that one because we're expecting. not an ugly baby at all. I don't think there can be an ugly baby. I think every baby looks a little funny when they first come out, but they're all beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, let's jump over to baby list cam here. One.
of their two or whatever, she's going to be in warmer climates. Yeah, warm climates for sure, um, except for the. A lot of people have said that when you have a girl, it's easier and more fun to play dress up, I guess. Oh, I can't so. wait to dress her every day of her life. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so fun. Oh, there's no sound. Yeah, there is. Everyone oh. says. No sound? Oh. Maybe when we, hold on. Can you guys hear us? Oh, this person. Every time we oh. switch to baby stuff. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> We're total idiots. I didn't know. Why is that that? That is a bummer. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We're learning this right now. So, um,. No sound Sorry. through all of that. Well, we were just kind of sharing like some of the things have been really recommended to us by some other moms that we know. So like the particular um, travel crib yeah. goes up small into a backpack. And um, I guess we just feel lucky that we know uh, so many people who've had babies lately that can give us their recommendations. Yeah. 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 Very grateful. Okay, let's check in. Why don't you grab Goiza Cam real quick? I want to show you guys what we're working with here. Going over to Goiza Cam um, officially. So, babe's got Goiza Cam. Oops, it's on me. I don't know how does the light look there? There's a, a little crust down there, guys, but basically that's what I'm working with. They smell pretty good. I'm thinking maybe I'll add a little more water, though. Does that sound like a good idea, Pam Pam? More water? Does that sound like what he should be doing? Just a touch more water, Van Pham, so that we really get the steam. We need the steam. I might actually turn the heat up a little bit, too. Try and not burn them. Yeah, they're steam. You should bring them this Huckle Doodles. Dun dun na na! My Prince Charming. Mr. Huck, he's here. He's at the live. These he's, dogs are tired. I think they're tired. still tired from yesterday. Let's uh, get back into chat. Yeah. See what these guys got going on. Whoa, we went way up there. Hold on, something came in. Did I see that right? No sound. Yes, yeah, sorry. Thank you guys for sticking with us with the no sound. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, Nicole says add water. Okay. They look like mini pierogies. That's, that they do. Yeah. They I don't know if I've ever seen a baby wetsuit. Probably not because probably not too many babies need a wetsuit. Probably not too many babies <laughs> need a wetsuit. 
They look like they need water. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm going to add a little bit more just so they steam up really well. Thank you, Deva. We'll see you on the next one. Um, oh, yes, my sister and stepmom got us a backpack for her to uh, like go on hikes and stuff like that with us. And my cousin got us the one that you wear like in the front. Um, that's really, really fun baby stuff. I just can't wait to wear it all with her in it and have her wear the clothes and read the books and yeah. It's going to be quite surreal, I must say. Okay, one Huckleberry. last thing. Well, Everyone that's cooking. Says, Hi, buddy. I'm going to start the egg drop soup. What do you think of them apples? Every Evan, everybody says this about these wonder suits from Bonds. A girlfriend of mine in um, the Chicago area got us two of them, but everybody has been raving about them that they zip up and down and they flip over on the hands and the feet. So, but you have to order them from Australia. We should look into like importing them so people can get them a little easier. Yeah. I think they're super affordable. They're just like the way to go, everybody says. Okay, Aww, guys, I'm, I'm going to be using this chicken stock here to make some egg drop soup. It should take only 15 minutes. So, babe, be with the Van Fam, but bring me in, loop me in on any good comments. Good me. night, Nom. Sleep well. It's 2.30 and time for you to go to bed. Um, Bruce says, I thought Huck was in the oven with Peggy. <laughs> Cooking like bacon? No, Piggy is watching ferocious, ferociously, ferociously to make sure anything doesn't drop in the ground. She's really good at cleaning up. That she is. Uh, toddler wetsuits. Yeah, we'll have to get our little lady a wetsuit when uh, it's time to for her to run around and play in the water. That we shall. Got to jump ahead. Can't wait for you to teach her how to ski. Definitely. I've taught actually my niece and nephew how to ski and it's so fun. The, I mean, little kids, I mean, some of them can be so brave and just go for it because they don't know what could happen. David says, don't burn the soup. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I won't burn the soup. Good night, Robin. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, this is really sweet to read, actually. You give me hope about being a first-time mom. I, uh, I, you know what? I think there's no, like, certain right time or no, uh, some people just don't really see it in their lives. But then if you just go ahead and do it, you have no choice to, but to make it work. And I think that's kind of... Kind of a weird thought. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's no, it's never going to be this perfect, like, okay, now it's time to have a baby. Maybe for some people, but it was never going to be like that for us. Wes Walker is here from Corpus Christi, Texas. I've never been there. Sounds really cool. Corpus Christi, yeah, that's a very cool spot. Have you been? No. <laughs> I just know it's, I think it's close to some good kiting. Yeah, there's a kite spot down there somewhere that we recently just heard of. Okay, guys, we are making a... Do you guys ever make vision boards? So when I first stopped traveling and moved back to the States, I had an office and worked 9 to 5. And behind my computer, the wall that I looked at, I had this huge vision board of all these countries I wanted to visit and mountains I wanted to climb and skills I wanted to learn and build a tiny house and get a dog and build a new van. All of that was on it. And I looked at it every day, multiple times a day, hours, because it was right behind my computer. And I made almost everything happen. I don't even know what's on it that I didn't make happen. I'm sure that's yet to come in life. So we decided we are going to make a little vision board for, yeah. to put up in the van of the things that we want in our future. 
And then, so this is it's not done yet. We need a good magazine for it. I don't know if you guys ever make these, but I can really recommend it. Manifestation and really like looking towards your, you know, envisioning your, what you want in life ha is huge. It's like, I think a lot of people think that maybe it's airy fairy and whatever, but we don't. Um, well, there's deer. There's always tons of deer in the front yard. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, Lots of deer around here, guys. But they just well. walk in the front yard and the dogs are like so curious and want to be friends with them. Well, piggy barks a little, but you know. Uh, anyway, and then so this side, we might do like a baby, a baby vision board. A friend of mine did one for her birth and put together all these things for her to look at and envision during her birth. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice job so far. We need to get well, some better The magazines. biggest problem we're having is finding a good magazine with stuff to cut out of yeah. it. You are creatively brilliant, Allie. So awesome. Thank you. Um, I've been watching from day one. I know everyone, and Pigged has always been Pigged. Teehee, that's true. Pig, pigged is... Uh, she might be go by Ann Farrier here and there, but she's always going to be Pigged. Well, Pig will go by anything that Dan says because she is so in tune with Dan and his, like, like the this. inflection of his voice, yep, the yep. tone of his voice. Yep, yep, she yep. just knows. She knows when to ignore him. She knows when to listen. Shelly says, manifesting is truly a blessing. It is. Brenda. has made a vision board. We should try and go to deer cam. If I can yeah, see. Yeah, give me a second. Let me see where they went. If they come up close. But we, we've only got about five feet six feet on uh on deer cam but i can go to Allie looking at deer cam let me see if that works here real quick Allie looking at deer cam so they have really big antlers and i think we've seen a ton of deer but the, i don't know why is, is it the male that have the antlers yeah I, should, I feel like i should know this there's a lot of males in the area i guess so that was Allie looking at deer cam. So just trying to keep everything organized here. Like my dad. My dad's trying to get organized too. I, just, I mean, that's the way it, you got to be organized in life. Oh, Tracy says, please show us the deer. I can only see them at the zoo. No way. Well, they don't have them in Australia. Okay, oh, so yeah, we... I forgot. We, we're going to go to... We see them all the time. So we'll get better footage and we'll put it in a vlog for you because... You're, you can't see them now. It's like a bit strange lighting. And Hey, look what Sherry says. My vision board says, buy a motorhome or van conversion. Go to Washington, meet Allie Dan, Huck and Pig, and our van fam baby girl. Tracy. Excuse me. I love that. Yay! I think that we could, uh, we really do need to do a meetup. Yeah, should we it's do just, it after the baby's here? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Everyone can say hi to baby. Um, okay, okay. Um, I'd love to take pictures of our van famers holding our baby. How? Because it's a family. You guys are family to us. We mean, we mean, really mean that when we say it, I feel like. It would like. be really fun. I wish um, we could do it to catch everybody, but... So Shelly said something that I wanted to touch on. I man my, manifested my way from Arizona to Northern California by the Oregon border. Yeah, that's a great spot. And... I mean, I feel like Allie and I are working on manifesting. We want to buy our own piece of property. We're working on like financing. Like how can we get like, what do we have to do to get financing? Like how can we make it work? Not thinking like, oh, we need a big house and or like we need to buy some house and housing prices are crazy and mortgage rates are up. We're, we're trying to manifest that for us. And we've got some ideas in the works and really excited about we what's just, coming. You you just really have to envision it and, and really want it. You know, we don't have the funds to just buy a house or the ability to get a loan like that yet. And that's okay. But there are things that we can do in the meantime. So we're working on those things right now. Um, <laughs> what does is, what is Jammin' with Will say? Dan, let's make this happen, bro. One name pop that question. Oh, trust me, Will. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Trying to plan it out. Sorry, ear, put your earmuffs on. Um, yeah. Dear, 
Okay, Lenny, who said about manifesting? Awesome, I'm learning this now. Listen to Dear Gabby podcast. Try 55 by 5. Okay, I don't know what that People means. People are interested in blind date for Kelly and me. That's what Bruce, that's Bruce's vision board. Wow, I love that. <laughs> we, we would love for Kelly to have a blind date. That's I just, great, we just Bruce. talked to her on the phone actually this evening. We get to see her right after this, so that's really fun. Um, you know, she has her dog, Mimi. Mimi Chonkers or Chonk or Chonk Puppy or Seal Pup or just Pup. And the dogs love her, so we get to see them soon. Keep It Real says, Pig is definitely awesome matter, no matter what you call her. She says, I'm glowing and Dan, your hair looks better these days. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I was thinking so myself. This is one thing we are manifesting and envisioning for sure. We are we are certain that our channel is going to continue to grow and we will have a million subscribers one day. And that's how it's done. Yep. And we'll we will get there and we'll celebrate with you all. You guys have all been here from the start, so that's really special. Um, lots okay. of vacation, Sherry. I, it's going to happen for you. It will. There's lots of options and ideas and things out there. And if you ever have any specific questions on what exactly to get for yourself, just let me know and I'd be happy to help you navigate. There's a lot of options out there. You have to be very specific in your intentions and words. Exactly. And that's why we choose to talk about all the things that will happen in a light of that it, as though it will happen, not as if or anything like that. Dan has been that way since I met him. And I think I kind of have too, but Dan has never let a sentence come out of his mouth that is not that this will happen and this is how our life is going to be. What are you doing over there? Uh, Do you guys want to see what he's up to? Flour, guys. The egg flour is a struggle. Oh, maybe you don't want to see what he's up to. No, uh, I just, I, yeah. We're well, working it out, guys. Why don't you move into the ski chalet? Um, a number of reasons. We will go up there and have the baby there. But there are a number of things that will that don't work for us there. One, um, we use the income, and it's a very nice income. And uh, two is that I don't want to live in Bellingham all year round. No. I would prefer to live there for a couple of months at a time, preferably when my brother and his family are there. Um, so that we can A, B by them, um, but also the winter is a little dreary there. I don't, I don't mind winter at all, but as you know, you guys all know, I like snow, not rain. So it's kind of, you're kind of stuck indoors a lot in Bellingham, but I think spring and summer is fantastic in the Pacific Northwest. Well, in Bellingham in particular. Anyway, so one day I think we will stay there for certain periods of time, but... We're still working out and um, using that income right now to try and save up for something else. Babe, why don't we go to Goiza Camp? Okay. The struggle is real, guys. I'm. I've got clumps of cornstarch in here. Which do I press again? W. Yeah, but first click on the screen. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Is there something you can smell up here, Uncles? The consistency is way off. I anticipated this to be very easy, and it's becoming quite difficult. Um, it's a little dark, here, but... Here, let me hit the light for us. Okay, guys, um, so this is my egg drop soup, and I've got... The egg right here, so let's just start swirling it in, I guess. 
be able to turn the heat up a touch. Let me get it boiling here. Uh, but goizas, goizas are almost done, guys. In fact, I'm turning that down. Okay, you ready? Oh, man, I keep seeing huge. Huge clumps are okay. Isn't that what that is? That's cornstarch, not egg. Oh. Ah. What, what do I know? Why is it clumping up? Maybe it needs to be hotter. Um, maybe. Has anyone made egg drop soup? Yeah. I think I've had it once at a restaurant, but, um. It's one of my favorite soups. Huck, what do you think? Huckleberry? Are you sleepy, Huck? Buddy? <laughs> well, here goes nothing, babe. Let me get this. The dogs think food is coming their way. I'm going to go add the egg and stir. Oh, I don't know how much you can get because we don't have enough distance, but the egg just... Did what it's supposed to? It worked. The egg is working. Wow. I'll show you guys in a sec what we're working with here. Last little bit of egg and you just swirl lightly, slowly. It was a very lightly beaten egg. So I'll show you guys. That looks pretty egg drop soupy. Egg droppy. Now I need one more thing. Um, yeah, that's it. Put some scallions on it. Looks good to me. So that looks pretty good to me. I don't know about you guys. Let's do a first bite, first live react. And hold on, let me just check. You have the bite though, Dan. After all your hard work, you get to try it. Okay, guys, here's... We're going to Goiza Cam. Or... Let me, this is the moment of truth, guys. Keeps, Lisa says keep stirring it nonstop. Oh, yeah? Well, here's Goiza Cam real quick. So, babe, here's I want you on right Goiza there. Cam for this because this is the moment of truth, guys. Okay, guys, let me get you on Goiza Cam. Dan wants us on Goiza Cam. So, basically, what I have to do, that's what we're working with. I have to plate this and flip it. So... I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to try that. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Guys, uh, as you can see, there's no goiza. <laughs> oh, guys, goiza cam. Ay, ay, ay. Let me just... Cooking with Allie and Dan. So they were supposed to be a nice, crispy, beautiful. <laughs> I can't get under the. Oh, man. There's Goiza Cam. <laughs> bon Appetit, Van Fam. I'm going to serve up some soup here. But okay, we we love Dan, and we love you, and we love the fact that you... I tried, I tried. So, it doesn't matter what they look like. I know, but... David says egg drop soup is just uh, egg whites, no yolk. Oh, well, I was following a recipe, and I didn't... Oh, maybe some people use it. Yeah, who knows? Well, we... Dan, you're amazing no matter what. I'll eat these no matter what. They're a little, little bit burnt in some areas. Yeah. Dang, I screwed that part up. But don't you think it's more fun that he tried a recipe for the first time with you guys instead of had it practiced and like perfected? Okay, now we just need, last little thing, guys, I'm going to whip up a quick uh, sauce for our, um, whatever. 
<laughs> I still can't believe I got stuck. <laughs> oh, it's magic. Sherry says it's magic. You made them disappear. <laughs> yes. That was uh, some some step to the process <laughs> that may have been uh, <laughs> too much water stuck like glue. Yeah, maybe. Okay, give me one second here, guys. Hope little one has Allie's laughter. Oh my gosh, you guys, in high school I got class laugh because, well, A, I would laugh at everything, but B, it's just, it's a little silly sounding. I'm aware of that. What are our horoscopes? I'm a Scorp. Dan is a Scorpio, and I'm pretty sure baby girl will be a Scorpio too, and I'm an Aries. Anything else, we're going to be a little worried. Yeah, she'll be a Scorpio. Okay, Van Fam. I'm officially here. Oh, look at this. Let's back this Another up. super chat for Tracy. Tracy. Well, I mean, my God, why don't we do something before we dive right in? I grabbed a goiza during your uh, super chat dance, Tracy. I just got crazy. Why, thank you. Hold on, one more thing, babe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, sorry. this looks pretty... Um, here, I'm going to show you guys. Oops. This looks like... The soup looks good. Pretty legit. The soup looks good. And these, you know, they're just a little... Peggy would have liked if I dropped that, wouldn't she have? She sure would have. I'm just going to top these Piggied. with some scallions. Little Peggy. Peggy, can you sit for us? Peggy, can you sit? She says, no way. No way. Okay. So, thank you for that, Tracy. We appreciate you. Oh, <laughs> Karen admires the honest presentation. Yeah, it is real, you know, because when you're filming vlogs, you can just go back and be like, <laughs> yeah, this, this definitely wouldn't works. have made it onto the vlog. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, Scoot that back a touch and let's just, okay, guys, we're going to go first bite, first live react here on the channel, here on the live stream. You know how much we love to do this. Babe, what do you want to try first? Do you want to try? Can I, I just need to comment on this one first. I love hanging out with y'all. I feel like I'm, with, like I'm with true, true friends. Thanks for oh. that. We do too. We feel like we're hanging out with you guys. We Cheers wish we could hear you. Although that would be a little bit of mayhem, but thank you. We really like that comment. Okay. I want you to try it first. I'm going to try, I'm going to try and find the best goiza in a sea of bad goizas. All right, here we go, guys. First bite. Very good. Very it's good. good. Yeah, it's just it's the crisp is burnt, but it doesn't taste a, like a, a burnt than... piece of toast would. Okay. Um, I'm glad I let the dumplings settle and added more water. Allie's gonna go for that goiza Light right there. Burnt. And then when she does that, I want to bust out maybe my most important. Interpretive art performance of the night because we just got a Charlene and Jean super Charlene chat. Charlene and Jean, you Thank guys you spoil guys. us. Thank so, you. So let's go to, um, give me a second. What do I want to do here? I'll try. I, no, I, it needs to be, it needs to come from my soul, an interpretive okay. dance from my soul. So um, let me just try. Something here. Why don't you go to Super Chat Cam? <laughs> um, give me one second. Super Chat coming in here real quick. It's going to be worth the wait. The dogs are excited as well. Here oh, I what come. Do you okay, wait. Oh. <laughs> For 
for Charlene and Jane's super chat. I'm busting out the old school. Did. <laughs> did you please tell me you guys did that when you were kids? Charlene and Jane, that one was for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's see what the Van Fam's got to say about that. Shelly liked it. <laughs> All right. Here Pardon comes me. more heartburn, Alley. I don't want to jinx myself, but the past couple of days have been... Been living the dream. Uh, they've been working out for me. So, anyway. All right, babe. Let's try the egg flour soup. Oh, they want us to put our words above... You mean like this? I don't know. Let's try the egg flour soup. Huck. Get, get out of here. Babe, first bite, okay. first live react, guys. Right. Egg drop soup. Let's eat it together on this one. Okay. A lot of egg. Ooh, the bowl is hot. That's really good soup. That's good. That's really good. Very good soup. Very easy recipe, guys. If you ever are interested in making your own, because it's kind of expensive when you buy it at a restaurant. Really an easy recipe. Yep, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this a ten out of ten, babe. Thank you. The goizas are really good. But it, you're right. The burnt doesn't actually taste super burnt or anything. Yeah. What's what I'm happy with with the goiza is I made the I made the dough myself. I would have rather not, but I had to. I didn't have any choice. So. I think the biggest thing to note with that is they need to be bigger. No? Yeah. Laura? Bruce, look at what Bruce said. Do you have any bloopers coming out in future vlog? Maybe we could add some bloopers in, because we do occasionally have some stuff that's funny that we don't put in the final episode. Yeah, and who doesn't love to see that kind of stuff? Um, who I have a doesn't small crush have a crush on, crush on, on this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I think, uh... Thank you I very much, Laura. Does. Oh, Jennifer says I so want to try that soup. It's really good. It's fifteen or it's fifteen minutes. Um, I don't know. Maybe the cornstarch dissolved. I guess I didn't really haven't tasted any. That was the only thing. Charlene and Jean say it looks yummy indeed. So sounds amazing. I want to start. I'm gonna put a page on our website with all of the the recipes and stuff that we use. And I said I was gonna do that while while we were here. And it is still on my list. So we'll get I to I love your laughs. It's good for the soul. Oh, yeah, it is. Would like it if you did like a spike on a live. What is a spike? It's like everybody unlikes it and then likes it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I've never heard of that strategy. I'm really yeah. happy with the soup. Um, of course she does, Bruce. You think we keep this from her? <laughs> this secret from her? We um, keep her updated. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> uh, babe. Thank you very much, Katie Cat. Can you give us um, a charade and we can see if the Van Fam can guess it? Mm. Guys, we're going up to live chat. Um... Because Katie gave us a super chat, we're going to jump to live. So Allie's going to do a, a charade, and we want you guys to try and guess it. So let's go to charade cam. Let's go to Allie Vondering cam. All right, babe, ready when you are. Did you guess it? <laughs> Is that the easiest uh, one in the book? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that could have been. I mean, I'll just guess going down a staircase or an escalator. Yeah, stairs. Okay. <laughs> when we were little, we used to just make up, you know, our own things. We did this with the kids. Oh, my gosh. We did this with my niece and nephew at Christmas time. We should have filmed it because the yeah. stuff that we wrote, they wrote down. <laughs> me. <laughs> they said one of them just put Dan. Yeah, just be me. Okay, guys, what's going on in chat? Walking downstairs, yeah. I, I was hoping for something that was going to challenge the van fam a little bit more, but uh, 
that's what we get. I had I had artist block. It's a lot. That see, mine was the one I did earlier. If you guys didn't join us earlier, is I received a pizza from the delivery man and didn't tip him. No one would have guessed that. <laughs> what? A, you, you that's almost, so rude of you. I know, but it's him. for fun. It's just with the van fam, you know. Okay, guys, what's going on in chat? Where are we at? Holy crap! We just passed 8 p.m. That's the two-hour mark. What's the 8 p.m. sound? Wow. We're, we're cruising with you guys. Happen? We'll probably go for another about maybe 10 minutes or so, guys. So if you... Oh, Moonlight <laughs> says you got $100. You need to dance. Well, I did an interpretive art performance for that uh, from Charlene and Jean's Super Chat. And then Allie did a charade. So we're... Let we're, us know if you want to see something in particular. Yeah. And we will... Um, yeah, you can, can do that. you can do those in your super chats if you have a particular, like, if you want me to dance around in some, some way, I will. Like, if you want Dan to pretend he's giving birth, that's your next one. <laughs> one thing I will say is stay tuned to the vlog on that, <laughs> because uh, we're going to go do some, uh, I gotta, I, we're going to do some fun stuff coming up. Um, that was a fast two hours. Agreed. I agree. That went by really fast. Um, what do we got going on here? Yeah, that's why I moonlight. That's why I changed outfits because I needed this long sleeve for my interpretive dance. Dan isn't allowed in Miss Piggy if he isn't going to. T <laughs> Whoa. Larry Mack says, remember to smash those likes. Thank, you, Thank Larry. you, Larry Mack. Appreciate that. Guys, I get, like we did last week, Sunday night, if we get a big burst of likes right now from 174 from this moment, big burst of likes, we'll go on for a little bit longer. But Allie and I have started the show alone because they have Netflix here, and so we are really into the show alone on Netflix, which is was originally on the History Channel. And I have to be honest, I don't have the skills that those people do. But I think I'd make it like five days. <laughs> I mean, to, it, it, truthfully. Do you like, think you could make it like five days? Easily. Five days? I mean, this is yeah, kind of hard. So. Like the skills, like building, I'd get really hungry. You know, I'm not like a great hunter or fisherwoman. Well, I mean, when I watch that show, I pretend, I feel I'm like making fun. Sometimes I make fun of them. Sometimes I'm like, whoa, this yeah, person we're knows like, what they're doing. How, but uh, I would. Why would they do that? We say <laughs> like that a we, lot. Like, like we have any clue. Doing? But we have no idea. So I'm being truthful with myself, and I think I would probably only last. Karen Lee says something here. I'd like to see Dan wear one of those baby bumps for 24 hours and experience Oh, pregnancy. he will. You betcha he will. Holy crap. Look who just became a member. She's here. <laughs> Kelly's here. Bruce. <laughs> oh, Bruce. Bruce. Kelly has joined the channel, guys. Yeehaw! She says, I hear my name's been dropped a few times. Well, that's true. <laughs> that <laughs> is 100% true. <laughs> Kel, I made uh, egg drop soup, Kel, which you would actually like because there's no actually, meat in it. Actually, what we have to say, Kel, is make a, a list of things you want Dan to make while we're around. Yeah. Are the blackberries must be gone in Hood River by Let's now. Let's go to Goiza Cam real quick. I want to show okay. you guys the state of the Goiza and Goiza Cam. So this is the Goizas. <laughs> <laughs> now, like people say, they taste better than they look. Oh, That's yeah. That's a Goiza. Is that yours? I wish I could find the one Allie made. It might have already been eaten, though. So that's Goiza Cam, guys. That's the Goizas. They, they look a little sus, but they do taste good. Very good. Yes, indeed. Um, I guess an announcement is my mom or my dad has a birthday coming up in August. So yeah. happy early birthday, father. Happy early birthday, Papa got, La. I did have a gift ordered and ships out the week of his birthday. So hopefully it gets there from Allie and I. We're really excited to, I think he's going to like it. I sure as heck would like it. So we'll see. I think he's going to like it. How dad likes that. Who else is here? Who else is here? Kelly Drake, not a problem. <laughs> Bruce, who are you? Come on, Bruce. Tell us who you are. So, guys, there's kind of been some tension sexually between Bruce and Kelly. Now, if you don't remember, sexually. sorry, uh, Kelly has been a friend of ours for many years, and she 
let us stay. She, a, she watched the dogs while I was in the hospital, which was huge. And she Not just us, watched them. She took them to the beach every single day. She mothered them. She mothered them. And then we stayed at Kelly's house for about a month after surgery. And it was a key time for me to recover there. Um, and Kelly was gone for a lot of it, which was even better. So <laughs> No, I would have wished she was there. <laughs> but we got to watch Chonk. Kelly has a dog named Chonk. Chonk puppy. Micro puppy. <laughs> Looks like a seal pup. Anyways, enough She's on Kelly. The sweetest. Hold on. Hold your horses. I just saw something come in. I just saw something come in. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. This is a good one. From I used to Susie. work at a pizza place for like eight years, but Imaginary they didn't throw it in the pizza air. Pizza dough tossing charade. Okay, guys, I'm going to go do charade cam with Allie, and we're going to see how she does here okay. on this one. Babe, why don't you give us? I don't know. Get out of my way. Get this stuff out. The whole process. Nice. Okay, I gotta say, I'm gonna give that a 8.6 out of 10. What? Well, I could have used a little less goofiness. I don't want some jokester making my pizza, but overall, the way you did it, the, and then toss, I thought was really good. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so guys, we went up not as many likes as last week, so we'll go for a few more minutes. Thank you guys, everyone, for liking this uh-oh, Kelly's opening the wine. It's about 7 o'clock there in the gorge, so what better time? Wish you were there. Wish we were there with you, Kel. That sounds like a blast, so thanks for joining. Sherry remembers Kelly. Oh, one of the best moments from a vlog is when um, I was <laughs> vlogging, and in the background, Kelly lies down on the concrete in the front yard and takes for a nap. a nap. She had just gotten back from Austin, Texas, and... <laughs> uh, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Susie, uh, how did uh, how did Allie do? Did she meet your expectations? I sure hope so. I hope that was at least okay. Uh, looks like we may have had something come in just now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, babe. Time out. <laughs> we got something coming in, and I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh! Of course, that's what you need to do. What is this? Um, okay, okay. I like this. the The dirty walk. The dirty walk. Okay, babe. Why don't we jump to Brian Laundry dirty walk All cam right. and dirty walk cam? I'm gonna come from. I want to get it at two different angles. So first, I'll just move through here. And then I'll probably come at you guys from that angle. So give well, me one second. I got an idea. Start over there. Let's we'll see the back of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get every angle. So front. Peggy. Hold on. Front. It's arms wide. It's feet out wide. It's acting like you got no problems when you got a couple of problems. <laughs> <laughs> and now in motion. Babe, try and keep up. It's really a strut. See so guys, the thing with the dirty laundry walk is you need open space because you're taking up space. You own the space. You're dirty Brian laundry. Unfortunately, he didn't. He, he didn't. Screw that guy. I don't even like saying his name to be honest. So too much. But that's the dirty walk, guys, and I know let's, it's a. Let's just call it the dirty walk. I know it's a fan favorite. Um, but thank you, May, so much for the super chat. Looks like Karen liked it. Hold on, what did Laura say? My daughter didn't believe my question or comment was on here. Screenshot, y'all are famous, famous y'all. Y'all's always funny. <laughs> Dan is a nut. Um, what do we got going on here? Bruce, are you stockable? So Kelly and Bruce, um, there's we something get going on. Somehow, there's something going with on. The, with this channel, we got to get Bruce and Kelly to meet. Now, Bruce is a kiter. Kelly's a kiter. Mm -hmm. Kelly lives in Hood River, a very kiteable spot. And Bruce is Kelly in Canada. Kelly will also, I hope it's okay that I'm sharing this, Kelly. Kelly will also be in La Ventana this winter. Will you be, Bruce? To be determined. To be determined. We don't know if Kelly's actually going there. Um, I do. Well, we'll see. Let's give her her. Let's give out Kelly's exact coordinates. <laughs> Dan, your walking is so good. Actually, this brings up a good point. So I saw we left the gorge May thirtieth or something. I don't know May twenty 
end of May, right off, right before Labor Day, uh, yeah, Memorial 29th, Day. Yeah, 29th, I think. And when I left, I was on crutches and I couldn't put a cent of weight on my left leg. Um, that's when I faked the fall. I know a lot of people thought that was messed up. I didn't think that was very funny. <laughs> faked a fall. Um, but yeah, all my friends, all our friends in Hood River, you know, my family in Portland, everybody around just hasn't seen me walking since then. So, And he, he's now I'm walking hiking. normally. He's hiking. Yeah. And me and Allie do a workout. We don't do it on the we haven't we didn't do it on the weekend Saturday or today but well we went on a huge hike yesterday true. and today was a little bit of a recovery day. But I can tell you what's been very interesting is there's a lot of weakness in my left knee, which I, I was surprised by. I thought it would be up in the hip area, but really where I feel it is in my left knee feels very weak. So yeah, it's time for Dan to start. <clears throat> excuse me, like doing his physical therapy. I'm working on. Finding online a physical therapist who's willing to work with him online and trying new exercises. But he does stretches and I stretch. um, squats and stuff like that. So it will come back. Guys, the soup, 15 minute recipe. Absolutely awesome. Uh, okay, what time Kev we got? 8 15. Excuse me, 8, Kevin's 12. here. Uh, thought I'd get some good, thought I'd get some good vibes from here. Nikki, what's going on? Um, well, Nikki's not happy with us for some reason. I don't know what we did. Maybe it's something oh. else that I'm not seeing. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, love this matchmaking, says Freda. No, I think... Frida, what do you think? I think Nikki may have just gone through a breakup. I think oh, that's what happened. Okay, I didn't think she was... She came here for good vibes. Oh, yeah. Well, we're always giving we're good, good vibes. vibes. Here's, we, love, um, we love that we can help you out with that. Here's Allie's email. If you want... Let's see, roadlifeblueprint.com. Make sure I spell that right. Free sticker pack. We've got a handful of stickers left, guys. So, Allie, this takes Allie a lot of time. I'm not going to lie. I haven't written a single card. I haven't sent out a single pack. You've done it all, and it you've put a lot of work in on the free stickers. I mean, you guys have done so much for us. This is the least we could do to, to try and, you it know. It is. And we are getting down to the very last few of them. Which is so, awesome. Yeah. It means we've I mean, given out a lot of a stickers. Thousand. So, um, yeah, if you guys thank want you sticker for, pack. Thank you for even asking for them. It's like, it's just nice to be able to send you something, a small token of our thank you. Um, Effie's here. Effie. Effie almost missed us. Glad you caught the end of it. I hope that you go back and watch it. There were a few funny things that yeah. happened. My first interpretive <laughs> dance, I thought was the, I can't wait the to most go back confident and watch one that. for sure. Uh, <laughs> What do we got going on in chat? Guys, we're going to go a few more minutes. If you got any comments you want to drop in there. Yep. And then just email me your address and I'll get some stickers out to you. Or email me if you want our address while we're here. Uh, email is the easiest way. Lori is woohooing my recovery. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate it. Yeah. So Allie and I are going to finish out. It's... About 8.15, we're going to finish out our evening here tonight in uh, watching a, an episode or two of Alone. And I actually baked some fresh chocolate chip cookies recently that we're going to pig out on. They're very, <laughs> very, very, very good. I would say the Goizas were um, not a success, but I'm really room happy. Room for improvement. I'm really happy that we were able to make, to try them out. And yeah, room for improvement. Something just came in here. Oh, Happy. look at that. Sending you big hugs. Thank you. Why don't you guys join us for, um, oh, I don't know. Let's go with this one. <laughs> Thank you, Epi, for that super chat. Um, hopefully we can do a live with Kelly when we're in uh, Hood River for a short period of time. Oh, my gosh, guys. Super Chat's coming in late in the game. What she says. 
Katie says, everyone become a super fan. Here are the emo here are the emojis are worth it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. So I will say we're working on new merchandise, and I'm really excited to share. We're gonna actually redo it, so it's we've had a ton of recommendations for merchandise yeah, too. Yeah. But if you guys have any ideas, we'd love to consider them. We've got some we've got some designs. There's gonna be five new designs. Um, so we're just finishing out the last couple ones, but two of them I'm really, really excited about. Also, we're gonna be adding new emojis that you can use as a member. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're, we're always trying to, we're always trying to, to up it, up the ante. Okay, guys, we are going Thank to... Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I will get the recipes up if you wanted to make at least a soup. Yeah, make the soup. Um, <laughs> uh, it looks like a lot of people are going signing to bed off. and we are getting tired as well. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for your super chats, your comments, your likes. See you guys again real soon. Thank you guys. Love you. Good night.